Today, I tackle my nemesis. Don't go away. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I'm Paul, coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, for this special one-year Three Blind Mice Invitational Anniversary, we're doing the Hot Wheels Flash Cider. I hated it a year ago, and I hate it still today. Don't get me wrong, I totally love a 56 Chevy Stepside, and I would dig having one. It's just that this casting is a struggle for me, ideal-wise. I have plenty of thoughts for a real Stepside in my own garage, but for a Three Blind Mice build, I draw a blank, and I'm drawing a blank for this build today. Well, it doesn't matter. I have to get moving and hope something will come to me. So here it is, my Hot Wheels Flash Cider. As you can see, it's ugly as hell, and I have no idea what to do with it. I'll start as always by drilling the car apart. And right here, this is another reason I despise this casting, as it has a plastic base, and I hate taking apart plastic base cars. It's simple, a solid black window piece, a plastic base with heinous wheels, and of course the body. I'll use my Vix bits to prep the post for drilling. This is a number 9 Vix bit and it is perfect for prepping posts. With a drop of oil I can go ahead and start to drill the post. I'm not sure why the oil makes the drilling so much easier, but it does. And now it's a permanent part of my builds. Maybe someone out here who's watching this knows why, and you can share it in a comment for all of us. After the post is drilled out, I can go ahead and tap it to prepare it for a screw. So now I can get a good look at the base. The wheels are stunningly ugly, like a person you take home at four in the morning after a hard night of drinking. I'll clip the retaining tabs, pop those ugly suckers off, and then it is straight into the trash. I'm going to try something to spark an idea. I take out some of the wheels and I start rummaging around. Sometimes finding the right wheel can be the starting point for a great idea. It's not going to work out so well this time as I still have no clue of what I'm going to do, but it was worth a try. With no ideas yet, I can just blindly forge ahead and drop the body into the warm liquid goo phase. Maybe I can at least get a great goo drop clip here. You know, I'm totally serious. I think I need to change my channel to the goo drop channel and just do videos of stuff sinking into the ooze. The casting is done in the warm liquid goo phase, and it has now been washed and cleaned and dried, and I can just run it through its normal paces. 
I'll start by hitting it up with the brass bristle brush. Someone had suggested making this into a fire truck, and I'm not thrilled about such an obvious idea of just slapping some red paint on it and calling it a fire truck, but for lack of a better idea, I think I'm going to try and see if I can pull that off. I break out some sheet styrene and make new bedsides that are more in line with the fire department rig. I still really wasn't feeling it, and in fact, on my last live stream, I showed you this, and I said I think I was going to scrap the whole thing and start over. You guys were real great, though, and were very encouraging. So I gave it a long think and decided I didn't want to espouse quitting. So I knew I needed to stop crying, pull up my big girl panties, and get to work. It seemed that the biggest issue I was having was the step sides. They felt wrong, and the truck really needed box sides. So I used my sheet plastic, and I made some. I also dug out some styrene diamond plating to cap them off and make a tailboard. And I'll be damned if I wasn't actually starting to get a positive feeling here. I could use model glue here, but I'm going to choose CA. It'll help with the build by gripping super quickly. And it's also compatible between the plastic and the die cast. So it's just a better choice. As I'm moving along, I'm noting that it's really shaping up and I'm feeling energized. I had cut some rough wheel wells into the sides and now I'm using the body's original wells as guides so I can clean mine up and actually they're looking pretty good. I gave the entire thing a quick coat of some Tamiya fine primer and now I can focus on the cleanup. I had a few areas where the CA needed to be filed away, and I also hit the entire thing up with my Tamiya sanding sponges to kind of smooth everything out. With everything sanded, I was feeling pretty good, and I thought I was about ready for paint. But I thought better of it and decided I should work on the wheels before heading the paint so I'm not manhandling a freshly painted body. I'd seen the green light dually set in Hobby Lobby many, many times, but I passed on it each time only to find out now that I was going to need them. So I made an emergency run, grabbed a set, and now I can figure out which wheels will look and fit the best. I'm really, really glad I decided to do this before going to paint because I'm really kind of manhandling this body. I could have made this a roller, but my struggles have left me a little bit behind the eight ball, so I'm not worrying about it. It's not going to roll. The wheels are going to fit great and look even better, but it's not going to roll. You guys can let me know if that's a strike or not. While test fitting the wheels, I noticed a pretty bad dimple and I had to fill it. So I took out some putty, I filled the dimple, and I set it aside to dry. So I might as well go back and focus on the base for a while. I cut away all of the rear bumper and attached the wheels, and now I can go ahead and paint the base black. I'm going to leave the front bumper and grill chrome, and I'm going to use Tamiya Flat Black for the base. I'll also paint in the wheel well areas. Since I'm focused on the base already, I'll go ahead and take out my Tamiya Black Panel Liner, and I'll detail the grill. You just touch the brush to the grill and let the panel liner work its magic. This stuff can really make the difference in your builds. As long as I have it out, I can also use it to detail the wheels, too.
After a final coat of primer, I can now get paint on the body. I'm going with a simple red paint job today, and for that, I'll be using Tamiya Gloss Red. I mix down the red with some leveling thinner and some X20. It's going to be vital to get a nice smooth layer here as I'm not going to use clear coat. This is going to be the whole ball of wax right here. I'll paint with my standard layers, but I'm really going to slow it down and focus on that final wet coat. Lighting is key here. You need to see the paint laying down so you can get a nice smooth wet coat without runs. My lighted paint booth is great at helping me with my painting. There's a link below so you can find one of these paint booths for yourself. In these shots you can actually see the paint laying down like I'm talking about. That's what you're looking for. Watch in this clip and you'll see the paint lay down. You can see it's nice, clear, wet, and smooth. That's exactly what you want to see. I'm really happy with the paint job. It's dry and now I can go ahead and get a couple measurements for decals. I'm going to go simply with Wooddale Fire Protection District Number 1 in white. Wooddale is the first fire department I ever worked for and they never had a rig like this so this is sort of a fictional homage. I'll print the decals out on my HP laser printer using Ghost White Toner. If you'd like to know more about that setup Look in the description for a link to my video on decals. I just popped the decals onto the rig, and I have to say, it is starting to look great. I am honestly surprised to realize I'm actually almost done with this build now. I can go ahead and start to put the rig back together. I'll pop the windows in, drop the base on, and screw it all back together. And then it's time for a few details to bring it all home. I have some elastic I used for hose in my American LaFrance fire engine build. This is the smallest stuff I have and it should fit the bill nicely. I also have a 3D printed coupling to finish it off and give it that nice detailed touch. I'm just going to glue it in with a little PVA glue. I have a siren from a police car that I hate and I'll use a redhead that I cast during the LaFrance build. Once all the accoutrements are attached I'll do a little detail painting with some silver paint on the diamond plating, and I can call this one done. Well, there you have it, and oddly enough, I find myself not hating it or the flash cider anymore. So, here it is in all its glory. More than ever, I'd love to hear your honest and unabashed thoughts on this one. Enjoy. Well, there you have it, my Flash Cider Fire Truck. It was hard and coming, but it's finally here, and I'm digging it. I hope you enjoyed this difficult journey of mine, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and be sure to click the notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below.
that's it for this three blind mice revisited build never forget many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up until next time this is paul from fat guy productions saying be good